again to all my gorgeous rainbow children at Giles Gate Primary School. Hope you've all had a good week. This week Mrs Moore is making Mrs Moore's chocolatey chocolate brownies. Mmm, but as you know Mrs Moore doesn't like chocolate so I won't be eating any of these. This week I've got quite a few shout outs. I've had to write them all down um, from last week's cookery from the, the um, creative cupcakes. Jay Jenkins made some beautiful ones with lots of blue icing on. They look fab, Jay. Well done. Mrs Barker, our gorgeous caretaker at Giles Gate Primary School, she made some butterfly cakes which looked gorgeous. We had Damien and Leola. They made some gorgeous um, cupcakes. I think they had like marshmallows on. And no, Damien, I didn't have chocolate on my face. And Mrs Matthews and her gorgeous grandson called Logan, they made some gorgeous cupcakes and they had Smarties and I think like some little gummy bears on. They look delicious. So thanks for all your photos. Hope you had fun making them. First of all, we are going to mix together our melted butter and our melted dark chocolate. Now, you needed 185 grams of dark chocolate, and generally the bars, this is the one I got, only had 150 grams. But instead of buying another dark chocolate bar, I took 35 grams out of my milk chocolate bar because it's staff going and buying two of the chocolate, and it will still taste just as yummy. So, I've already melted my butter and I've melted my chocolate, as you can see, nice and silky with our wet dark and our milk. So I'm going to mix our butter, now it is melted, but it has cooled down a little bit because we don't want any burnt fingers. So we're just going to give that a gentle mix together, nice and slowly mix away. Children, I forgot to say, welcome to Mrs. Moore's kitchen. Mrs. Moore's kitchen is a bit hot today. It's very sunny and Mrs. Moore is glowing today. So that's our mixture there with our butter and our chocolate all together. So now in our bowl, and guess what I found? You know, I was telling you last week, I found a Mrs. Cummins spoon and a Mrs. Moore spoon. Well, guess what I found this week? A Miss Smithson spoon. So we're going to give her serve this week. So in our dish, we are going to add our sugar, our caster sugar, lots and lots of sugar, <gasps> dear me, and we have got three eggs in here that I've beaten, I'm sure you'll all be cracking it, cracking your own eggs now, so we want to tip that into there, and we are going to beat this together until it makes a nice smooth paste, so beat away guys! So pop your oven on to about 180 degrees. Our mixture should look nice and bubbly because Mrs. Moo has been beating very well. It does take some time, but we do need to add some air. We are then going to add our melted dark chocolate in with our mixture. Get as much out as we can. Just going to have to spoon the mixture in this way because Mrs. Moo can't find her spatula so we're just gonna have to leave a little bit in the bowl but we'll wash that up not a problem so we're gently going to mix that in very carefully as we don't want to get rid of our air bubbles so just mix that in for a couple of minutes Now the other week I showed you one way of folding 
where we went round the dish and down the middle. This week I'm going to teach you a new folding skill and this one is the figure of eight. So you're just going to pop your spoon in and you're going to go around and do the figure of eight. Twiddling your spoon as you go. We're not going to beat it, remember? So just keep going until all the flour and cocoa powder has mixed in well to the chocolate. Off we go. That's my mixture all folded in. It's still quite bubbly. And then also I started to chop up my chocolate. I've got some white chocolate and some milk chocolate. Now, if your chocolate's quite soft, if it hasn't been in the fridge, you might be able to do it yourself with a knife, it, not a sharp knife. Or mine hasn't, I forgot to take mine out, so I'm having to use quite a sharp knife. So please, please get an adult to help. So I'm just going to finish chopping this, and then we are going to add this into our gorgeous mixture. Okay? So, we're just going to pop that into the top. And then give it a gentle mix so we can use our round the bowl and in half, around the bowl and in half, or we can do our figure of eight. Now it doesn't all have to be covered, so just give it a little mix and then we're going to get our tin ready to pop it in there. Ideally, if you've got a square tin, but I haven't, so I'm just going to use a glass dish. I've cut my grease proof into a square and I've slit the corners down, so I'm just going to gently press that in, fold it over the edge, but once you get your mixture inside, we'll hold it down. And then just carefully, in it goes. I'm just going to have to scrape as much mixture out as I can. I'm going to pop a little bit in first. And then gently ease it in before I add the rest. Now, as I say, unfortunately, I can't find my spatula, so I'm just going to try and get the rest out of there and then pop it into your oven for about 20 25 minutes. Now, the way you can tell it's cooked, it will start to come away from the edges, it will look like a little bit crispy on the top, and if one of your adults gives it a little bit of a wobble, if, it's, if the whole cake's wobbling, it's not quite done, pop it in for another five minutes. But we can't use the skewer test this week to pop in the middle to see if it's cooked because obviously our inside of our chocolate brownie is hopefully going to be nice and gooey. Okay, good luck. Ready? Ta-da! Now that's the first time I've made chocolate brownie myself and I'm really impressed with that. It did actually take about 50 minutes to cook, so to stop the top from burning, after about 25 minutes I did cover it with some foil, so it gave the inside time to cook. And when you cut into it, it looks absolutely gorgeous, look at that. But unfortunately, with it being half term next week, I don't think there's any post. So unfortunately, Mr Turner, you won't be getting any of my chocolate brownie next week. So remember, because it is half term, please stay safe. And if you do do any baking at all over the half term holidays, please send me your photos onto our Facebook page. Any sort of baking, whether cakes, biscuits or something savoury. I would love to see them. Okay? So, miss you lots. Love you lots. See you later. Have a nice half term. Mrs Moore. Bye.